Hey everyone, it's Colleen with Artwork by Colleen. Sorry for the weird voice. Today I decided to make, um, I wanted a new Halloween design for my earrings. And so I thought I'd make a spider web. Um, and I decided the easiest way to do it would make it into like a kaleidoscope cane. And that way, um, and I can just put the pieces together instead of trying to form that whole thing at once. So what I'm doing here is just kind of following along with the pattern like I usually do. Um, the lines, the black lines in between the orange, are I rolled it out to a, like a three. And then the outside ones I rolled out to a six because those are going to be put together when I form this square and then that way they would ultimately turn them into a six basically so that all look like the same size. So this is a pretty standard um, design. I mean like it's pretty straightforward the way I did it. Uh, I'm just <coughs> I'm so sorry just following the designs as I go. Getting back from Alaska has seemed to really kick my butt so I don't know. Anyhow so i I'm not going to show you step by step because it would be kind of boring. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how to do it. I added a little bit of extra black to that top piece, as you can see, because the the center of it seems like it's a little bit bigger than what just the two pieces that met would look like. Also, it's got kind of a curved look. So what I did was, if you saw there, I took a little wooden dowel and I kind of pushed it to get, um, on the orange, pushed it up so to give it a little curved look. And then I decided after looking at it for a minute, the easiest way to go ahead and build this would be to put the black piece down the middle and then build side to side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm showing you here how to do the first section um, just to give you an idea of the way it's done. Like I said, it's really pretty straightforward. Um, and then that last piece, I kind of pushed down a little bit, made it a little bit thinner because um, it didn't need a whole nother piece. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the black on that. And then I'm going to come back and show you um, after a little bit more of it's done just to um, give you a step-by-step -step progress. So that's just building it. You can see it's really straightforward. It's fairly easy to do. Um, when I get to this last section here, even though I thought about not making it into a square, it's gonna be the easiest to do if I just literally put it into a square. So that's what I did. So now that I've got the square, now I've gotta reduce it down so that I come up with enough cane to make four even pieces. So that's what I did. I cut off the ends because I wanted it as much of the black straight on as possible. Cut it into my four pieces and then here we go. I'm going to put it together and that's a really easy way, easier even than I thought about, to make the um, spider web and I think it looks pretty cute. Now if y'all know me at all, I make a lot of earrings for Disney because that's where I work, whatever. Anyhow, and so I decided that I was just going to turn this into uh, a circular piece because I'm just going to make it um, like that's the head of the Mickey Mouse ear and I'm just going to put the little uh, Mickey Mouse ears on it. So that's the finished cane. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's what my earrings are going to look like. You guys have a great day.